Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It's currently about 20 past 11 on Monday the 26th of September 2022. I've just finished reading, what was it called? Uh, Ozma and the Wayward Wand by Polly Barons, which is just a, like, a really short Oz book that uh, Charles, Charlie Heathcote sent me. And uh, next up I'm going to start reading The Call of the Weird by Louis Theroux. Um, and I'm going to crack on with my audiobooks as well, so that's where I'm at. But um, I will hopefully give you an update tomorrow, we'll see. I've been really shitty at vlogging, mostly because I read so much and after I read so much, I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to film my vlog, man. It's going to take me ages to go through all these books. And then I have to go through all the same books again to do my wrap-up. Woe is me, man. Woe is me. Dane reads. Greetings, everybody, and hello. It is currently... 20 past 9 on the 5th of October, Wednesday the 5th of October. Oh, again, I have not updated you for a while. I do have some books to talk about. I think the main other news, my bathroom is fixed. That's working. I got paid at the start of this month, so now I've actually been able to pay all of my bills. I do still owe the tax man money, but I don't have to pay that till January. And my previous tax bills, I was late paying them, and I should be okay to make this one for January. Um, and then I can start paying off my overdraft, which will be nice. And then start saving for the next tax bill. All very exciting stuff. Been playing a lot of Wii, been seeing a lot of Shea. We made a really nice red velvet cake. And we also made a Biscoff cake that wasn't as good, but the red velvet cake was from a kit, that's why. Uh, my bathroom is fixed. The cleaner's coming over tomorrow, so she'll be able to give that a nice deep clean as well, which is also going to help. And I'm just pretty much cracking on with being productive. Um, I've edited most of, in fact, all of my June reviews now, apart from... Uh, Dream of June, which is the biography of Frank Herbert, um, and that's going to take a while because it's a long old file. Um, and then I've listed a few more things on eBay, sold a few books, which is very exciting. Um, yeah, I also found out that there are two new June books and a third one coming out this month that I didn't even know about. So that's also exciting because I thought I'd completed June. Turns out I have three more books to read, so I'm going to get to those soonish. Um, other than that, just keeping on keeping on. So I'm going to update you on the books. I can't remember which ones of these I actually mentioned in my last update. So I finished reading, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. I'm going to have to go to my fucking website here. The Little Oz book that Charlie sent to me. Oh, it's over here. Ozma and the Wayward One by Polly Berens. It was like a three out of five. It was just okay. Um, it's more of a completionist thing. I'd actually hadn't even got it on my radar, but Charlie saw it in his charity shop and sent it to me. It is aimed at kids. Uh, it, I mean, so, so are all the Oz, Oz books, but this one is specifically a book for those who have developed reading stamina. So, um, yeah, it was okay, like three out of five. I read uh, Gotta Get Through This by Louis Theroux. That's over here. Oh, no, it's not. I read The Call of the Weird. I think that other one is his other book. Um, so this take goes you takes you, like, on a recap, basically goes through America, uh, meeting the people that he met for his Weird Weekend series to, um, to catch up with them again, see where they're at. Really good. Four out of five. Full review of this one coming soon. I did enjoy it. Then I read Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews. I gave that a three out of five, partly because I listened to it via audiobook and the woman doing the narration in it was just doing my fruit. I really didn't like her voice or the quality of the recording even. It was also a very slow burner. Um, I liked the idea. I'm not convinced I liked the execution, but there were some good bits in it. I won't be continuing with the series, but I am glad I read it because it's kind of one of those books that a lot of people have recommended to me throughout the year, so I'm glad I can finally say I've read it. Then I read The Monogram Murders by Sophie Hanna, which is one of the new Poirot books. It's actually the first new Poirot book. Um, and that was just okay. Um, Charlie said when he replied to my review, Charles Heathcote, he, he pointed out that like it's very obvious who the killer is. Um, I don't tend to read mystery or thriller novels like that, trying to figure out what the solution is. So I think I sort of suffered a little less because of that. But yeah, it wasn't the best. It was very much Sophie Hannah still finding her feet with the like Christie estate and whatnot. But uh, I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. It was okay. Then I read Did You See Melody, also by Sophie Hannah. So this book is uh, it's about... Uh, child abduction basically this woman runs away from her family to go to like a high-end spa in America because she wants to sort of have some time to herself to think things over about something uh, we very quickly learn what that is but then she, while she's there she sees this little girl she accidentally gets sent to the wrong room and this little girl ends up to have been one uh, who's supposed to be dead and her parents are in jail for her murder and we kind of the rest of the novel is spent basically looking through you know what actually happened um, it was okay, probably like a 3 out of 5 for me to be honest. Um, 
It was just alright. It's just kind of a generic thriller and Hannah writes a lot of these generic thrillers and by this point I'm starting to see like a diminishing return in terms of the time and effort it takes me to read them. I'm not really sure whether it's actually worth my time and effort to read them. Um, but I'm kind of a completionist so I'm going to keep sticking at it, you know. And I've just picked up The Gnome King of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson which is the latest in the Oz uh, series, book number 21. I'm just cracking on with them. I was buddy reading these with Joel Swagman, but Joel has since sort of given up on that. Fair play. Uh, he was reading all the ones that you could get for free, and I think by this point they're now all in the public domain as well. So, um, but yeah, I've literally only just started it, so I can't really tell you anything about that. I think I'm going to go off and watch a little bit more YouTube now and do a little bit more editing, and um, I'll try and update you soon. I don't think there's anything really happening this weekend. Shay and I are celebrating our three-month anniversary on... Goodness me, on the 10th, which will be what? Oh, that's on the Monday. I thought it was this weekend. So yeah, our, our anniversary is on the Monday. Uh, I have a call tomorrow after the clean is done. That's about it. I have a few uh, radio interviews to do as well. So I'm doubling down on that and making sure I've got plenty of radio interviewee guests lined up. In fact, that reminds me, I should set up the next one. All right, I'll see you guys uh, soon for another update. Oh, hello, it's me. It is currently 20 past 11 on Thursday, the 6th of October. I just made some banging sandwiches. Uh, it had vegan pastrami, vegan gouda, cucumber, jalapeno, some dried tomatoes on, and it was this salt and pepper bread they make in Morrison's. Beautiful shit. Um, I finished reading The Known King of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. That was a 3 out of 5 review coming soon. It was out. And I'm now reading Fairy Tale by Stephen King. I'm like 60 odd pages in or something. Um, I don't know. I'm enjoying it so far. It's very good. It reminds me of uh, the Spear Wielder books by R.A. Salvatore. Um, in that it, I guess it's also like Every Heart a Doorway or whatever, but I haven't read those, so I wouldn't know. But it has this like doorway to another parallel fantasy world kind of thing. Uh, I had an interview at three o'clock that was cancelled or rescheduled. My cleaner was supposed to come round, but she rescheduled, and then I had my 7 p.m. call that went ahead. Um, and now I'm just feeling a bit bloated because I ate too much, but I was very hungry. So uh, yeah, now I'm just cracking on being productive. I've been um, working on making like a list of all the downloadable stuff, uh, sorry, unlockable stuff for the, cause we've got a Wii now. So we've been playing some Wii games. So it's like, okay, here's what I have to do to unlock all the courses and characters on Mario Kart and all of that stuff. So um, yeah, just, just been doing that really. And um, I'm gonna go do some editing now. Hello everybody, it is me, ya boy. It is currently 25 to 11 on Sunday the 16th of October. Again, I haven't, I haven't updated too much. Um, been a fairly quiet week really. I saw Shay a few times. I went to the Wickham Arts Centre open mic on Friday, which was weird. Kind of ran out of performers, so I left at like 10. It normally goes on till 11. Um, currently not drinking as well, so that was weird to like perform without being hammered. <laughs> Um, especially performing solo because uh, I'm not kind of really used to doing that. But yeah, it was all right. Um, I saw Shay earlier. I went around to take her uh, a few goodies and a Starbucks and uh, paint by numbers and a few things like that. Um, and I've been mostly working all weekend. Um, but it's been all right. I kind of need the money to be honest. I mean, money-wise, I am doing okay. I had to borrow some money from my mum earlier this week, um, but I'm now sort of back to okay money. I have enough to keep me going till I next get paid hopefully and waiting for a few clients to pay me and that kind of stuff a uh, bit more we cleaner came around earlier this week don't know what to tell you man it, my life's pretty boring at the moment it's just working seeing Shay working seeing Shay and reading a lot so I have some books to update you on so I read The Gnome King of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson that was like a probably like a week 3.5 out of 5 just continuing the odd series really I don't have much to say about it I have tabbed it out most of these are tabbed out to do reviews to be honest um, I read Fairy Tale by Stephen King very good that was a solid 4 out of 5 um, just demonstrates why Stephen King is the master he's, he's still got it you know um, so that was very enjoyable um, again full review of that coming soon I read La Ferme des Animaux by George Orwell which is Animal Farm in French um, 5 out of 5 because it's Animal Farm and Animal Farm is incredible it was difficult to read it in French I'm actually uh, I've got another one so I read uh, Morsel and Nier by Agatha Christie um, and that's my that's been my like French bedtime book and that's that was a lot easier to read than Animal Farm was for whatever reason just the translation I guess um, so there was that 
I read uh, The Edible Woman by Margaret Atwood, so I listened to that via audiobook, and I'm gearing up to read whatever my next audiobook is. Uh, oh, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins is going to be my next one, and I've got that as a LibriVox audiobook, which is when like volunteers read it, so I'm not expecting it to be particularly good. Uh, but The Edible Woman was a 4 out of 5 with early Atwood, um, with like a feminist read. Um, she was asked a lot whether it was to do with the women's lib movement, but actually time-wise I think it was conceived and written before she'd heard of that. Uh, she wrote it in like her mid-twenties, but it is a really good novel. Um, again, it's got like feminist themes to it. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of um, books like uh, the fucking Joseph Heller one, uh, Something Happened, because it kind of kind of fixates on that mundanity of life, but tells a really interesting story. Uh, another one, another example of that is Stoner by John Williams. I think if you liked either of those books, or if you like feminist reads, you will like The Edible Woman. Uh, then I read Dad Jokes, The Priceless Edition by Kit Chilvers and Andrew Chilvers. Uh, review of that coming soon. Shay gave me that as a, a present for our three month anniversary because she knows that I like to say dad jokes, to tell her dad jokes. Uh, and that was pretty good. There's some funny ones in there. Again, I'll be doing a review of that. That's just going to be me reading out the jokes, you know? So if you like dad jokes, keep your eyes peeled for that. Then I read... Um, the Sound of Broken Ribs by Edward Lorne here on uh, Booktube and it was a really good thriller. Um, I picked that up because Shay read uh, Life After Dane which I read in 2020 sorry, um, and she picked that up and really enjoyed it so I thought I'd encourage her to read more indie by getting another Edward Lorne novel and The Sound of Broken Ribs had been one of, that's been on my list for a while just because I love that title um, and yeah it's really good it focuses on like somebody deliberately runs down a woman basically and then everyone dies like there's everyone's just constantly dying oh i'm very sorry look at this my necklace is tangled again it's always tangled <laughs> um but yes yeah, so that one probably a four out of five solid indie novel uh there will be a review of that coming soon as well and now i've just started reading the duke of caladan by brian herbert and kevin uh, yeah brian herbert and kevin j anderson so this is like the latest in the uh like june prequels and whatnot that they've been working on together and uh, it's really good so far this one came out in 2020 so it's one of the more recent ones it might even have come out last year no it did 2020 and then another one came out last year and then another one is just coming out uh this month i think uh, so that'll be another Dune trilogy, and it's kind of funny because I thought I'd read all of the Dune books, then obviously it turns out that I had not. So it's kind of nice, it means there are three more books for me to enjoy. Uh, you can see me trying to fix my necklace while I'm talking to you guys, and it is not going well. I don't know what's happened. It just gets very tangled sometimes. Oh, something just... I don't know what just happened there. Um, but yes, so that's about where I am. Let's have a look at this. How does this... Which way round do I need to flip it? I need to flip it one of the ways round, and I don't know which way round. I think it's that way round. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I kind of just been, again, I've been slacking off with my uh, reading vlogs. I have my uh, like wrap-ups of these books to film as well, so I thought I'd just kind of whiz through them now. There'll be more info, as I say, there's going to be full reviews coming and in the wrap-up as well. But I wanted to bring myself up to date with a reading vlog so I can tick it off. This is just not happening, is it? What is going on here? I can't, legit can't tell, mate. I think that has to, that has to go through there. That's done something. And then it's got to go. It's got to go through here again. And now nobody can tell me off. Shay, I'm looking at you because I know she watches my reading vlogs. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring myself up to date so I can close out this week's reading vlog and hopefully do a better job next week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.